what I'd like to demonstrate in this video is how we can add holes at an angle to the surface where they penetrate the solid body. For this example, we're going to be using the hole wizard. Now, let's take a roll back in history and see how we've created this part. The very first simple steps was simply creating, creating an extrude of the box. And of course, for this example, the first steps don't matter. I've simply shelled out a box. This is where the tricks begin to start. I created a plane offset down from the top surface and then on that plane I've created sketches defining the points where I want my holes to enter the solid body. In my case I've created two sketches one for the holes that are a quarter of an inch down from the top surface and one sketch containing the holes that are going to be on the top surface. The next step is creating a surface that will be used to draw our whole wizard holes on. Now when I created this surface, if I edit the feature we'll see that I drafted the surface at a 45 degree angle inwards give myself a plane that will be entering this surface at a compound 45 degree angle. The next step was using the hole wizard and when I used that hole wizard my sketch plane was this angled face. Again I can edit my sketch and see that I created a sketch on this angled face and if I look normal to that face, we can see that I simply converted the entities of the holes that I already sketched on my solid body. Again, we'll note that I used the same technique to add the holes on the 45 degree angle along the edge. This technique, of course, can be used at any time when you're adding holes at an angle to the surface where the hole is going to enter the surface. Now it is important to note that if you're using the hole wizard to create these holes, you'll need your surface to be offset far enough away from the solid body so that the cut completely cuts through the solid. Had my surface been at this point, the cut would have gone in and we'd have a cut on this side, but no cut on this side because the cut starts inside of our solid body. Well, I hope this example has been a help and will give you a little bit of inspiration for how you can add holes at an angle to a surface. For more demonstrational videos, visit inspiretech.com.